Joining me now, Congressman Andy Biggs of Arizona. He serves on the House Judiciary Committee, the Science, Space, and Technology Committee, and member of the influential House Freedom Caucus. Congressman, good to have you with us. Let's start with, first of all, uh, the Mueller probe, the, uh, the, uh, the statement on uh, uh, General Flynn and his contributions, the sentencing memorandum. Uh, a lot of questions about all the redactions. And again, it amounts to process with uh, 70 hours of testimony, uh, 19 uh, interviews from the general. What do you make of it? Well, I, I got the uh, addendum and I looked at it and I said, well, no one can tell what's in there because so much of it's redacted. It's Aren't ridiculous. we all getting used to this? I, I mean, yeah. we're, this for a free nation. Uh, we're being treated pretty much like uh, folks, uh, anything but citizens of this country. This is really, this must stop. Well, it's an authoritarian bent in my mind because if you look at it, um, what's happened here is they've investigated President Trump as a person because he's a political enemy to them. And that's what started this thing, and it started with a guy named Peter Strzok. So, so this devolves all the way down to somebody like General Flynn who ends up, mm -hmm. and they used a really See, clever line. I think line. it started with a guy named Obama. Well, and yeah, I think right. it yeah. when he decided that he could rationalize spying on a political opponent uh, and to do so with utter impunity and the deep state uh, resident in the F leadership of the FBI and the uh, Department of Justice decided they could support him in that effort. Yeah, and that's, and that's the problem. And we see this abuse of power. It's at the highest levels of those uh, Department of Justice and the FBI, formerly uh, highest levels of the IRS. And and we have not been able to get to the bottom of it yet. And so you see somebody like a General Flynn, military hero, and he goes in and they get him on a process crime. And one of the things, they use a real clever uh, uh, piece of language in their, in their memo, basically that means he, he said he forgot or he didn't remember something happening. And they use that as some kind of basis mm -hmm. for, for prosecuting him. And this is, this is the whole thing. I wish he hadn't pled guilty. Uh, because it's hard for me to believe that any jury would have taken these guys seriously. The man has been, the special counsel has bankrupted the man. Uh, he's yeah. had to sell his house uh, to pay his legal fees. Uh, he, he and his family's lives have been absolutely devastated here. Uh, it, 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 it's just a, a horrible, horrible precedent to watch a special counsel that was supposed to be an improvement on the old independent councils. Right. Uh, this is, uh, as you say, it's authoritarian in nature. It is, it is pure hell for whoever they target. Uh, let, let's turn to, speaking of targeting, uh, fired FBI Director James Comey to appear before the House uh, right. Oversight and Judiciary Committees. Uh, what do you want to know from, uh, uh, from Comey? Well, there's a lot to, lot to learn from Comey, if he'll tell us, but I mean, Let's start with the exculpatory letter that he wrote and the, uh, and the timing of that and the process in exonerating Hillary Clinton and for him to usurp Loretta Lynch's power. Let's talk about Loretta Lynch and the relationship so with Bill Clinton. I mean, all of those are interesting and intriguing uh, questions. What I don't understand is why now? Why in the sunset moments oh. uh, of this Republican-led Congress uh, are you taking, taking up the issue of Comey? Well, I, I, you know what, Lou, I don't know. I know that we asked for this a year ago. I mean, this is something we've wanted for a long time, and it's happening, finally. And I'm, you know what, I, I'm not going to let it go to waste, but let's, let's be honest. Um, I think Comey's done an excellent job of letting and running the clock out, and we've, we haven't really prevented that. And that's yeah. been part of my problem and part of the reason that I've just yeah. been frustrated like crazy. And the capper is we find out uh, that... Uh... The House campaign, Republican campaign committee, uh, has been hacked uh, yeah. using, yeah. for whatever reason, uh, the same CrowdStrike uh, Democratic uh, firm uh, as when the DNC was hacked. It's really an amazing story of absolutely pathetic uh, botched leadership uh, under, the, uh, <laughs> under the speakership of one uh, Paul Ryan. It's just incredible. Uh, yep. Not a pleasant way, I'm sure, for you all to, uh, to watch uh, the power shift and the gavel shift uh, to uh, Nancy Pelosi, but there it is. Congressman, always good to see you. Look forward Thanks to seeing you soon. Yeah, have a good one.